Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Weichelt for another episode of Weichelt Wednesday. Today we have my good buddy, Coach Kelly Jones. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm super awesome. We're just taking listings. You know what I mean? Yep. We're having a good time, having a really good time. So let's get right into it. Who's Kelly Jones? Uh, well, uh, I've been a realtor for shoot. I don't know how long, a while. I think almost seven years, eight years. Uh, came from a corporate background, joined real estate, hooray, and I'm a full-time buyer's agent and love my job. You know what? Let's love let's my dive, career, let's actually. Dive, let's, let's dive into that. You're a full-time buyer agent. You know, some agents, there's, in my opinion, there's three types of agents. There's the hybrid that works buyers and sellers. There's the buyer specialist, like what you're doing, working primarily buyers. And then there's a listing agent. Let's let's talk about some of the coaching you do for the team in regards to the buyer agent. Uh, you know, the buyer, the buyer process, you know, handling buyers, buyer consultation, um, really being that customer service oriented versus salesy, because no one, even even as listing agents, right? No one wants a salesperson, right? So that's that's what gives realtors a bad name, in my opinion. So really teaching people how to talk to buyers and um, and that follow-up, you know, just teaching them the, the importance of that. There's, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a specialty to writing the good offer, a good clean offer, being a listing agent myself, getting an offer from a quality agent like yourself is just makes everyone's job so much easier. And a lot of times that offer may not be as good as maybe the other one, but the whole package working with a quality agent matters. So teaching those agents how to write clean offers, how to submit how to really communicate with the listing agents, a big deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And building that rapport is, is huge. Let's yeah. go into, you know, you're now with EXP. Uh, you've, you've been here in uh, what, three plus years, four, four years now. Yeah. We've been here four years. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get right into that. Give me, I know there's a lot of stuff you want to share, but give me say your top three things that you just can't not share about EXP. Mm. I would say the support, not only from our organization, but the broker team. You know, I can walk into a broker room and get an answer with less than 10 minutes. Never could I ever have done that with my previous broker. I used to have to hunt down my broker, never mm -hmm. in the office, right? So that uh, education and um, I would say uh, building my retirement. Like I'm, you know, I'm I, no realtor can say that they're going to retire someday, but I can, you know, I have, yeah. I have, a, I have a goal and I'm working towards that. And what's, it's like, what's your exit strategy as real estate agents? We always, you know, we're only as good as our last transaction and we're right. really not building generational wealth, you know, financial freedom, true financial freedom, time freedom, you know? So you hit some really good points. You talked about support. You talked about your organization, the tips, the tools, not only from our organization and all of our coaches, we have our specialty coaches, you being one of them, but we have listing tools to take so many more listings than you normally are. So we've got a lot of great things. So people need to reach out to us and really see what we're doing. So with that said, Kelly, what's the message that we want to say to the agent that's maybe tuning into this and maybe hasn't made that decision to join us in the XP yet? I would say... Give us 15 minutes of your time. Learn what we are doing to not to excel in our business, you know, to excel and grow in our, in our business. I, you know, 15 minutes. That's all yeah. we need. And, and you know what? That's the best 15 minutes. Uh, it took me two years and seven minutes to join the XP. Jeff reached out to me two years previous. I wasn't ready. I had a closed mind. And I tell you what, looking back, nothing's more expensive than a closed mind. When I heard it again, when I was ready to hear it, it took me seven minutes to say, this is where I want to be. And I'm so blessed I've done that. So Kelly, I appreciate all your, what you do for the team with your coaching and your, your onboarding and your support. You're amazing. I appreciate you so much. And I want to thank you for being my guest today and, you know, sharing some uh, tips and benefits of what we have over here at eXp. So thank you so much for being my guest. Absolutely. And one last thing I can say, let go of your ego, right? Go into yes. something open-minded, learn mm -hmm. it. And then if it's not for you, great. But if it is for you, even better because you let go of that, right? You wouldn't okay. have done that without losing. Ego's, so ego's, ego's a very expensive thing to have. Don't get Absolutely. rid of the ego. God, you know what? I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Whiteout Wednesday. Have a great day.